So in the last video we saw how if you have a spring and you stretch it, the more it stretches, the greater the force required. Well, something else that we can look at on this graph and actually in real life is that if you stretch a spring, it stores energy. And the more I stretch it, the more energy it's stored. Just like if you have a rubber band. With a rubber band, you pull it back and then it stores lots of elastic potential energy, which we can then release. Now, if we look at the graph here, the area underneath that graph is equal or equivalent to the energy stored. And we can say that the area of this graph here is equal to a half the base times the height. So a half Fx. And this is equal to the elastic potential energy that's stored. So it's equal to a half Fx. But we also saw in the last video that the force is equal to Kx. And what we can do is uh, basically substitute the force here with this value here. So we can also say that the elastic potential energy stored by a spring or another object which is uh, maybe compressed or in tension is equal to a half times F which equals Kx multiplied by X, so Kx squared. And it's these two equations here that allow you to work out the amount of energy stored by an object perhaps when it's in tension or perhaps something which is also compressed.